Um, we have another question from another Jeff, a much younger Jeff. I'm 34 years old, and I, and I want to begin training to climb a large mountain, 14,000 plus feet, here in Northern California, while I live at sea level. I have heard you recommend keeping ruck weight to around 30 pounds, but my climb will require about a 45-pound pack. Yeah. So, yeah, that 30 around pounds, that's that's not me. Okay, that's, that's the centurions. That's the Roman legions. That number, about 30, 15 kilos, 33 pounds-ish, and that generally has been around for a long time. It, it's, it's the weight of a pack that a person can kind of do day in, day out uh, for a long, long, long time. I mean, you know, if you're the Rome, uh, Roman Empire and you had to take a saunter over to Egypt, I mean, that's a pretty long walk. Uh, I know all roads lead to Rome, but that's still a long walk. I've personally never done it. I've flown that. Uh, it's still a good size flight. So, yeah, that's the only reason I, I recommend that is that I prefer that you go for these heavy hands, weighted ankles, uh, you know, uh, ankle weights around your uh, ankles. Um, I'd like to see you do it for 50, 60, 70 years. And uh, if you if you overload, and I've done it, and I tell you, man, I have a story or two. Once I, I got uh, Phil Maffetone's uh, earbuds, the, the heart rate monitors that are here, and I had sunglasses on, and this is when I first experimented with uh, fermented food. I was I still was making the error error of buying sauerkraut from the store, which is a little too salty. And you'll know the difference if you make your own sauerkraut. You'll know what I mean. So I had that on. It was the beginning of COVID, so I had to have a mask on. So earbuds, sunglasses, mask, hand weights, heavy, 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 heavy vest, and ankle weights. And I had this weird, like, panic, like the panic you might get scuba diving in caves, you know. I was just like, I kind of freaked out. Uh, I'm a big kid, and I, you know, I calmed myself down. But it was like, wow. I, uh, so that's that's one of the small reasons you kind of keep an eye on overloading. Um, I think, you know, I, I would recommend that you go right to that 45-pound pack for your training. And, of course, you know, we're, we believe in progressive resistance exercise here. So you could probably go I, you could probably go 10 to 15 pounds more than that. My only concern uh, as you shoot those numbers up higher and higher, of course, would be getting it to work. Uh, you know, I mean, what no matter what your pack is, getting if you have two big kettlebells in there. But one thing I would like you to think about, too, is wearing the ankle weights. Um Mine are five pounds each. They're very easy to put on and off. Um, and it'll just, uh, I mean, I don't believe what they used to teach us back in the 60s about ankle weights. But one thing it does for me is it improves my gait, G-A-I-T. So when I have ankle weights on, that's what my stride looks like. Because of my long-term athletic career, I used to walk like this. Ankle weights forced me to walk like this with you know, left, right, left, right. And that might be something you want to think about is your stride. And good luck on this, Jeff. Uh, it's not an impossible feat to climb that, but it's still, that's, that's a lot of height. And good luck to you. Thank you.